Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Taylor Swift got on her knees begging Dems. Turned out she's just a hypocrite. Taylor Swift has made headlines over the past week for her recent comments on social media. The usually quiet woman when it comes to politics has now taken a political stance. In fact, she has now endorsed someone for Congress. But it is not a Republican. The Tennessee native has homes all across the United States but she only spoke about her home state representative. Something that has gotten a lot of support and negative media attention. Information Liberation reported. A search of the Tennessee Secretary of State's official voter registration database suggests that Taylor Swift may not be registered to vote in the state of Tennessee. Swift was praised by the media earlier this week for harshly attacking Republican Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn and endorsing her opponent Democrat Phil Bredesen. She told her supporters we have to vote even if we don't 100 percent agree with our preferred candidates on every issue. Swift reportedly owns two homes in Nashville, Tennessee, both of which are in Davidson County. She also has several other residences in New York, Beverly Hills, and Rhode Island. If you put the name Taylor Swift with the county of residence as Davidson and year of birth as 1989, Taylor Allison Swift was born on December 13, 1989, the state government's website says, no record was found. Please verify the information below and search again. If your information cannot be found, please contact your local county election commission to verify the accuracy of the information on file. Similarly, no record was found when the county was switched to the other largest counties in Tennessee of Shelby, Knox, Hamilton, Rutherford, Williamson, Montgomery, Sumner, Sullivan, Wilson, Blunt, Washington or Bradley. Replacing Taylor with the misspelled Taylor also came up empty. It's not clear what state Swift claims as her residence, but she specifically said on October 8 on Instagram, I will be voting for Phil Bredesen for Senate and Jim Cooper for House of Representatives. The website claims that their voter registration data is current as of October 10, 2018. The last day to register to vote in Tennessee was October 9. If Swift is intending to vote as she claimed, she may want to contact her local county election commission. Fox News reported. On Sunday, Swift urged her 112 million Instagram followers to register to vote and cast their ballot for Blackburn's opponent, former Governor Phil Bredesen. After her post, Voter registration in Tennessee went up to 65,000 registrations in a 24-hour period. However, a new New York Times poll on Friday shows Blackburn is ahead of Bradison by 14 points. Swift wrote to her followers, As much as I have in the past and would like to continue voting for women in office, I cannot support Marsha Blackburn. Her voting record in Congress appalls and terrifies me. Swift said the Congresswoman voted against equal pay for women. She voted against the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, which attempts to protect women from domestic violence, stalking, and date rape. She believes businesses have a right to refuse service to gay couples. She also believes they should not have the right to marry. These are not my Tennessee values, the fearless singer said online. Swift wrote she will be voting for Bradison for the Senate, and also for Rep. Jim Cooper, a Democrat who's running for re-election. Blackburn told Fox Business Connell McShane on Wednesday she believed her constituents would not be swayed by the celebrity. Tennesseans are more interested in the fact that Marsha Blackburn is endorsed by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, by the Fraternal Order of Police, by the Police Benevolent Association and by the National Rifle Association, where I have an A rating in their endorsement, Blackburn said. In 2016, Blackburn won her House re-election race, defeating Democrat Taryn Chandler. She represented Tennessee's 7th Congressional District. Blackburn received more than 72 percent of the vote, The New York Times reported. Blackburn is running to replace Republican Senator Bob Corker's seat. Corker announced last year that he will be retiring from the Senate. Bredesen is running against Blackburn. Following Swift's endorsements, President Trump told reporters on Monday that he likes her music about 25 percent less. I'm sure Taylor Swift has nothing or doesn't know anything about her. Trump said of the 28-year-old singer. Let's say that I like Taylor's music about 25% less now, okay? Swift is an entertainer and musician, known as a best-selling artist with over 40 million albums sold worldwide with 27.8 million in the U.S. She has received a plethora of recognition from the Nashville Songwriters Association, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and she has received over 10 Grammys, 1 Emmy, and 23 Billboard Music Awards. She has also been recognized with six Guinness World Records and 12 County Music Association Awards. She has appeared twice in Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World, 
as well as on Forbes's list of top earning women in music for several years from 2011 to 2015. As her fame and fortune have grown, so has her propensity to comment on political issues. Despite her argument that she tends to stay out of political issues she has routinely commented and engaged in the political arena. During the 2008 presidential campaign, she supported a then-presidential candidate and nominee Barack Obama. She participated and helped to promote the Every Woman Counts campaign as well. She has vocally referred to herself as a feminist and has had close ties with the Kennedy family. In the past, she has spoken about her admiration and respect for Ethel Kennedy. After the murder of Larry King, she became an outspoken LGBT advocate and worked on an anti-bullying campaign with her music. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.